So over the last couple of years, we've seen some really big changes in the claims landscape. Not least, we've seen the market's reaction to the COVID-19 business interruption claims. We've seen the increasing number of climate-related issues and claims coming through from that. But there's also been an increased level of scrutiny by the regulator. And Jesse, I'd be really interested to hear your, your views on that. Yeah, sure. So we, we've seen skilled person reviews and regulatory intervention as a result of these extreme events. The regulators are most concerned about resilience, but also barriers for claimants. As people will be aware, the rules relating to claims handling are relatively light touch in that there's only really four rules. Um, but when the FCA has concerns about claims outcomes, they'll usually pin these against PRIN or CISC, the, the high level requirements. On the business interruption side, we saw a move to consider more commercial clients and small to medium sized enterprises rather than you know, just retail consumers, which would be typically the FCA's focus. And then moving forward, we have the new proposed consumer duty, um, which will heighten expectations around claim servicing and also consumer support. Um, and it feels like the kind of extent of the consumer definition and how it's applied is still kind of up to interpretation. And Emma, what are you seeing from a client perspective? So without doubt, the, the biggest event that we've seen in the, in the claims market is the BI test case uh, and um, everything that's really come out of that. One of the things that I've seen from my clients is that there's a real focus on contractual uncertainty and really getting down to the basics of what, how does a consumer interpret the, the policy wording versus the intention of the underwriter versus the legal interpretation. More generally, in the claims function, we're seeing continued focus on ESG and sustainability. Um, and we're also looking at, we're also seeing clients look at the, the time taking um, within the claims life cycle and how to shorten it. Uh, and one of the main things that feeds into that is the supply chain disruption that we've all seen in the last few years from COVID and from Brexit and a number of other external factors. Um, and that has only increased um, you know, the cost of settling claims and has has added to the time taken to, to handle claims. And I suspect that's maybe something that you're seeing in the work that you're doing, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as happy as actuaries are dealing with uncertainty, there's a lot making it very challenging at the moment. We're, we're off the back of Brexit and, and COVID-19, which have affected inflation rates, have affected the types of claims that insurers are seeing, um, but have also distorted patterns on, on which actuarial techniques are so dependent. So when you add to this economic uncertainty and regulatory intervention, it's really difficult for actuaries to know what trends to project and, and which ones to ignore. This is also affecting a lot of different types of insurance business and, and different operations within the insurers themselves, which really aggregates the risk and, and heightens the level of uncertainty. And it's going to affect things through pricing and underwriting, through some reserving and, and even the calibration of capital models. So a lot of challenges at the moment. So we've touched upon some of the interesting challenges that have faced um, insurers in respect of claims o over the last two years. Um, but what we do know for certain is that there will be new challenges that arise in, in, in the future. So what's really important for the insurance industry is how they set themselves up to respond to those future challenges. It's really important that we have a clear strategy, clear plans and an investment to ensure the basics are absolutely right to, to deal with those challenges. If that happens, then I'm, you know, I'm sure that the industry will, will respond appropriately to, to those challenges in, in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.